Hello, welcome. Of course, just join us this and the Bunge Good Morning Nigeria show. Went our very first segment mm -hmm. this morning on top of our show. Uh, to the customer, we said we don't already tell them. I said we go talk um, this um, <coughs> morning. I want to look this issue of banditry. We don't already talk around the matter where we say occupy uh, newspapers True, today. Yes, a lot. A lot of you know, conversations. Whether they collect 800 million, no, mm. I mean, I know they collect to oh, wait seeing they really, really, really happen. And the cocoa uh, be that. And we get our guest, of course, Dr. Chris David um, on the line uh, to discuss this matter with us. Dr. David, good morning. Good morning. Right. Right. Good morning. Good, mor good, good to morning, have Nigeria. you on our show this morning. Good morning, sir. Dr. David, um, this matter I don't pass, uh, it don't pass, be careful. Um, some people go talk, say, they're not they surprised as the matter, they happen. Be like, say, as we say in Nigeria, we like to they use money, they set to every issue when they decide themselves to address the matter. But what do you, you think about this new trend of banditry uh, for Nigeria? Well, uh, it's very clear to everybody that uh, for some time now, in Nigeria, we are rewarding uh, bad behavior. Hmm. So everybody went see, see if you can cause trouble, uh, instead of get punished, you will be rewarded. Hmm. Now you say, or now they make, say, this bandit to now don't become new form of cashing in. Hmm. So that is just it. Now, make it not be like saying that now, now this thing starts. You know, since Boko Haram stands, yeah. you know, Boko Haram was a threat. But some people saw opportunity inside it. Mm. That's why up to today, we still they see insecurity. You don't migrate from Boko Haram, turn to Hesman, mm. now you don't turn to Banditry. Mm -hmm. We don't know the next one will come. Mm. So that is the situation. Uh, but look, looking at this uh, current situation, we happen for um, Niger State. We even use that one as uh, the, uh, one of our uh, case conversations this morning. Uh, the, the Niger State go, uh, government, they talk, say, they're not going to fit use force take uh, settle this matter because say school children still they involved all those kind of things if you say mm. we even suppose even they they get conversations with all these uh, b b people where they do bad men these bandits kidnappers and all these kind of things what do you feel about this one Go. well they get point for that one okay because lives of who are involved mm. now if you find yourself in such <coughs> situation. Mm -hmm. The priority is to safeguard the life of these people first. But the question is that what do you do after you don't safeguard life? Mm -hmm. That is the question that needs to be addressed. Because if you have not punished bad behavior, it is obvious that the next person who says, oh, this is not the new business when they turn. Mm -hmm. This is not the opportunity when they turn. And you just need to invest a few millions and cash in billions. Hmm. So that is the trend. So what we are supposed to do is that, yes, when we find ourselves in this kind of uh, situation yeah. where life of people they inform, we, we don't have the sophisticated weapons yet, the way uh, U.S., Take fly, come uh, Nigeria, 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 and, uh, and rescue their person. Mm -hmm. So what we just need to do is to secure the lives of those first. Mm -hmm. When you secure the life of those, people, then what do you do? Because this thing is systemic. Yes. We are seeing a system failure in our security architecture. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So that is what we are supposed to be addressing. Hmm. We shouldn't wait that on people have been kidnapped before we react. What are the proactive measures now, that what? we need to take? So, so uh, other conversations regarding this whole kidnapping and um, situation where they happen, insecurity situations, people they talk say, 
if we even fit get access to these people to sit down, they get ne um, negotiations and conversations with them. Why we not just, you know, since we, we already know, know where they're they, why we not we just go pack all of them? Why do we have to still sit down with them to get conversation? As we see, we, we see what Shegumi do with uh, the one we happen for, for an area, as go sit down, they follow them, they talk, they, they negotiate situations. People that say, if we feel know where they're they, why we not just go there, wrap everything up once and for all? So now the opportunity when they inside with that, you understand? Mm -hmm. And the Nigerian state have not been able to address, address it. You understand? So what we are supposed to do is that you have these people that have emerged themselves as bandits. Yes. What are you doing as a state? In fact, if we look at the history of government, those days, those early, early days, mm -hmm. when people, they live in hamlets, uh, villages, in caves, and all that, they were facing this kind of attack. And people can say, why not for us to come together yeah. to be one, gather force, to fight common enemies? Mm -hmm. That is how government came into existence. And that's why you see, say, for constitution, they will say the primary function mm -hmm. of government is to protect lives and property. Because the origin of government itself now to the people came together, yeah. put resources together to fight common enemy. But we are not seeing it. Because if some people they one place say they be bandit, mm -hmm. why will you now go and say want to negotiate with them? Why are you saying you to give them uh, amnesty. Mm -hmm. Is it not government, the institution of state? Is it not form? Is it not the function of this of state to fight against those kind of uh, mm -hmm. arrangement? Mm -hmm. So now the opportunity to see that. Now I listen to the Zamfara State gov uh, governor. Yeah. When say some bandit not be criminal, that they, they are only doing that to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. That statement alone is inviting. Because the institution of state is supposed to be the one to protect citizens. True. Not that citizens should protect themselves. So what that government say, <clears throat> implication of the statement is that this security situation has the security system in Nigeria has stayed. Hmm. So that is the implication. Okay, I said, look this matter, uh, um, Dr. David, because right. of course, you know, say, hmm. some people will be saying we know attack that first time when it starts. Uh, before Boko Haram being come, now Al Qaeda and I they occupied GIS for Nigeria at that time. Um, we never to experience them. But the moment we hear the first bomb for Nigeria, the first thing we had talked that year, I say no sense when we say enter Nigeria, we carry and pass, be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of day now, uh, solution fit there at all. I be this and something we say we could just ready to just live with for the rest of our lives. Because this thing don't infiltrate, you don't even come out for not in the other parts of Nigeria now. Mm -hmm. Now the new normal be this, now we suppose accept. I mean, I also make government that, don't look and say the best thing is just to settle with money because they don't say force no work before. How? How? What do you feel? No, that cannot be possible. Okay. And we cannot regard this as new normal. Okay. You know, whatever you don't like, you confront it. Mm -hmm. So there is no space, there is no... There is no space for saying that we need to accept the current situation when we see ourselves. So if anybody they talk say to accept this situation when we did so, 
is or is or the implication is that we don't have government again. So we are now living in that barbaric society where there is no law and order. So what we need to do is to confront the situation. How now? How? Because because they, do this in they don't put they, 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 they put force. force. You know what? We, now we don't they enter put, now they money, put money and people see they kidnap. People see they kidnap. say once I kidnap, my millions will come. So you feel say any so, other way. Go feed day. You feel say any other idea if it spring up when you say if you don't admit the matter, use. say as Boko around matter first start. Mm. Why this thing still they linger? Because there's some people they benefit, they from, they benefit from inside. They see, say the more the thing they hurt, the more money they go they release on top of the defense matter. So, mm -hmm. what thing will they talk now? Where, how we won't go? She will go, she will go <coughs> employ uh, in, international forces to come. So, if you say now the way forward be that, how you take here? Well, what we are saying is that. The patriotism mm. to our nation is, is in question by those who have been given responsibility to perform that function of protecting life and, and property of citizens. Mm -hmm. The second thing is the willpower. Government need to demonstrate that willpower. Now, you see, say, this our police, mm -hmm. our soldiers, when they go out of this country, say, for all these, they are peacekeeping and all that. Yeah. Even the soldiers of US, France, they, they, they depend on the force of Nigerian soldiers. So how come it can't be our own? Not be hmm. So now that thing we need to address. We need to speak to ourselves face to face. That are we still patriotic? Where is the willpower? Hmm. And if need be that we need foreign assistance. Yeah. Then we can get police assistance for help. Us. For me, I still believe oh, that if the Nigerian security architecture is talking about the, the, the army, navy, air force, and the police, mm -hmm. they agree, so okay, let us be patriotic to perform the fashion that we are created, mm -hmm. then all these menace that we will become a history. So, um, 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 Dr. Chris, before you leave us, people just make I just ask this final one, this final question regarding this. Um, you just mentioned these uh, security agencies where government don't rec don't create to you know to secure lives and properties. What do you also feel about this community policing um, thing? If you say that oneself, go feel help. Say if they could they create uh, community policing for different areas, may everybody handle their security per state. If you say that one go also feel help this uh, insecurity situation in any way. You don't say I don't talk about superstition. The five levels of policing. Mm. Community policing is very important. Okay. So when you look at societies like uh, the UK, when you are in London, you will see all these policemen in your neighborhoods. They know they will carry gun. Mm. But gathering of intelligence, knowing who is occupying a property, yeah. knowing who all the things that surrounding that a particular uh, community, mm -hmm. those are their jobs. And immediately, there is an issue. You see, say within two minutes, the situation has been arrest, arrested. Mm. Because the community police, they know every nook and corner of that community. Yeah. So community policing is the ideal thing, and it's part of the five 
structures of policing. Hmm. All right. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, the, the Dr. Chris David, for this uh, conversation. Well, as we did talk, and we still they hope, say, government will find that lasting solution to this insecurity matter where they happen for the country. And because the matter they spread before, we they look at like saying that uh, only the northern part of the country now they happen. But we can see it everywhere happening. Thank you for joining us this morning, uh, the Dr. Chris. Hope, say, you will get an amazing day ahead of you this morning. Thank you very much. Thank All you. All right. All right. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so uh, this matters to be as it gets, but hey, wait till we go do, wait till we go do solutions now we need right no, now. No, there's a hope solutions. against hope now, waiting the matter be, because I know, like, if you no matter how you want to shake this matter, I still never... You still never get that. You say, guys, the person go take talk, you go just say, to say, okay. yeah, see what in there, because, I mean, if people say that they're supposed to handle this matter, you know, to a large extent, like, you don't talk, say people, they benefit from the matter. Yes, that's you know, it. end. Any way, person they make money from, you know, for you know, like now, why would stop. you want there to be peace? You, you know, right, like it must continue.